Do you want to know how to find out if you've been blocked on Facebook? Then this video is for you. Hello, I'm Sophie, Millionaire Mom, and I bring you the tools, the courses, and the mindset that you need to make a success online. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do so and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a video every time I upload one. Now, if you're watching this video, it's because you want to find out how to find out if someone has blocked you on Facebook. I'm going to show you. It's very easy. We get to go to my computer screen. I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. Now, make sure that you stick right until the end of this video, because after I've shown you how to find out if you've been blocked by someone, I will come back on the screen and I'll give you a little tip about what to do if you find out that someone has blocked you on Facebook. OK, let's go. So here's what you need to do. The thing is, when someone blocks you, right, they disappear. They're not in your friends list anymore. If you search for them, you won't find them, right? But the trick is to know, have they just disappeared off Facebook altogether because they've cancelled their account or have they actually blocked you? So to find out, you need to log out of Facebook. OK, so log out. Get to log out. Okay, then you go to Google and you actually search for the person. Look, for instance, what happens with me if I search for myself <laughs> in in Google, sorry, I find a few things, including Facebook, right? So if I click here. There you go. I see myself, right? I see ba basically my, my profile, okay? So what you do is when you find whoever you are looking for, you here, you, you highlight this, you copy it, okay? Then, oh, well, actually, I can go in. Then you log back into Facebook. So I'm just going to log back in. I'll pause the video. Just give me a sec. So there you go. I'm logged back in. OK. And then, of course, this is not a terribly good example, but, you know, you, you paste this and then you go like this. And then if you if you can't find the person, then that means they've blocked you. OK, I'm going to show you another example with someone who has blocked me. OK, just give me a sec. So there you go. I've logged out again. OK. And to protect this person's privacy, of, of course, I'm blurring this person's details, but I know this person has blocked me. So, for instance, here I've logged out of Facebook. I've Googled this person's name. I found their Facebook profile. So I know that this person is still on Facebook. OK, so now I am going to um again um copy and copy the the address and i'm going to log back into facebook i'll pause the video again okay so now i'm logged back into my facebook okay and now i will paste the link to that person's profile just here okay and then look what happens. There you go. This content isn't available right now. So to me, when I am logged in, I cannot view this person's profile. That means they have blocked me. OK, and I know that because when I was logged out, I found their profile, if that makes sense. But now that I'm logged in, I can't see their profile anymore, which means that they deliberately made sure I could not see that. OK, and I know it's a horrible feeling, but there you go. It happens. Look, it happens even to me. So don't take it too personally. You know, it just happens. <laughs> 
So I hope this helped you. As you see, it's very straightforward. It's very easy. Now, I just wanted to dive a bit deeper into the topic of right, because it can be really heartbreaking to find out that you've been blocked on Facebook, especially if it's, you know, a friend and it's unexpected, right? So my little bonus tip in a way that I wanted to share with you is what do you do when you find out that someone has blocked you on Facebook, right? First, I would say if it's very unexpected and you don't understand why and you have a way of contacting that person, maybe you have their email address, maybe you have their phone number, uh, maybe you know where they live, I don't know, <laughs> maybe you, 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 you know, you're living close to each other, then I would personally advise that you make contact with the person and that you just let them know that, you know, you, you've, you've, you've noticed that you've been blocked and, and you, yeah, you're really surprised or you're sad or you're angry or whatever, right? Don't attack them. Talk about yourself, okay? Talk about what it makes you feel. Um, just say, you know, I was really surprised or I was really angry or I was really sad or I was really upset. Don't accuse them. Talk about your own feelings. But make that contact just to let them know, right? However, I would say after that, let it go. If the person comes back to you and you can talk and you can sort it out, that's one thing. If the person continues to ignore you, if the person comes back with, with being very aggressive, then I would really say you have to let it go. Um, you know, we don't know what makes people block us on Facebook or anywhere else. We don't know what makes people reject us at one point, but you have to respect people's decision. Uh, people have the right to, to do that. And we need to respect that. So that would be my advice. Okay. Make one contact, like a kind of uh, one gesture, but then also make sure that you respect the person who has blocked you. It is their decision. It is their right. And you don't want to harass them. If you have any questions about this topic or anything else that you want to find out about Facebook in general, please drop a comment below. You can also check my Facebook tutorials playlist. It has quite a lot of helpful tutorials. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Give it a like if you liked it. Make sure again that you are subscribed to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos every time I upload them. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.